This is problem 49 in the book. Uh, for uh, 30 seconds, this rocket is accelerating from Earth at a rate of 30 meters per second squared. We're not taking account air resistance. We have two questions we're wanting to find out the answer to. What is the maximum altitude? And how long is it in the air? <coughs> to solve this problem, I'm going to break this up into three phases. Uh, we have the phase one, which lasts for 30 seconds, as a given to us. That's powered flight. We are accelerating upwards. We also have this growing velocity in the upwards direction. And then after 30 seconds, we enter phase two. <coughs> that is, uh, we, are con we have run out of fuel. We're no longer accelerating upward. Instead, we're decelerating towards Earth at 9.81 the meters per second squared, the Earth's gravitational field. However, we're still accelerating. We we're, we're still have this, uh, this velocity taking us higher to a higher altitude. And we're going to still continue um, increasing an enormous amount of altitude during this uh, phase two. Phase three begins uh, when we have accelerated. When we have a uh, zero velocity, and we can do a accelerating. We still have this, uh, this velocity taking us higher to a higher altitude. And we're going to still continue um, increasing an enormous amount of altitude during this uh, phase two. Phase three begins uh, when we have uh, when we have uh, zero velocity and we enter our free fall return back to Earth. And the sum of the, these three times is how long it's in the air. We can find out the maximum altitude at the end of our phase two calculation. And uh, for solving this, you can actually combine phase two and phase three, but I think it's easier to break them up and do them all individually. And so, uh, We'll use our equation from our book for our, our distance formula. That's x equals x of zero, our initial the, the offset, which is zero in this case, because we're at ground level. Our initial velocity times t, initial velocity is zero because we're, we start at rest, plus uh, acceleration divided by two times t squared. And uh, all these units end up being, after multiplications, are in units of uh, distance. Meters per second times second is meters. Meters per second squared times second squared is also in meters. So these will all add up. As we're on the ground and we're taking off at an acceleration of 30 meters per second, we want, we're going to do this for 30 seconds. So how high do we go? What's our, well, our offset here is zero. Our initial velocity is zero. What we still have here is uh, 30 over 2 for uh, 30 seconds squared. And so our, our x is equal to 15 times 30 squared is 900. This, uh, this altitude is 13,500 meters. And uh, that's, that's our elevation we're at when we have run out of fuel. We are at the end of our phase one. This is our phase one altitude. Our phase one time is 30 seconds. That was given to us in the problem. We're going to begin our phase two. We're still moving upwards at a positive velocity, but uh, we're being decelerated back down to Earth. Uh, so we see here, at the beginning of phase two, our velocity is 900 meters per second. Very, very fast. It's a kilometer a second. Now, uh, now, how long does it take? How long are we in phase two? Well, we're decelerating by 9.81 meters per second squared. So uh, 9.81. We do this uh, division, meters per second squared. When we divide this, the, our units, uh, there's our meters, and, it, and most of our seconds will cancel out. We'll left, be left with a unit of seconds. Nine, uh, 900 divided by 
is actually uh, 91.7 seconds. And, and we're going to use this time to uh, find our distance we travel over this amount of time. X equals X is zero plus V is zero T plus A over two times T squared. This would be the most sophisticated equation in the, in the whole problem. We have our initial we have our initial offset here. We're at an altitude of 13,000 the meters, 13,500 plus our uh, v of zero, our v of zero is uh, 900. So we're at the beginning of phase two, the, we're at uh, 900 uh, meters times uh, time. And our acceleration, this time our acceleration is a negative number because we're accelerating back down towards Earth. That's uh, 9.81 divided by two. 9.81 divided by 2, t squared. And, so, and that's our, uh, our new altitude. When we take our t that we solved earlier, that, that's uh, 91.7 seconds, and substitute it in this equation, we will find our total altitude that we have climbed to all, all the way up until we've run out of velocity. That is our maximum altitude to answer to part A. What we have is uh, 13,500 plus, uh, we, if you multiply 900 times 91.7, you'll get uh, 82,568. We need not pay attention to all these significant, significant digits. It's not really that precise we're going to uh, trim this quite a bit. And our the amount of altitude we lose due to this uh, negative 9.81, accelerating us downwards, is going to be a negative 41,284. This was supposed to be a negative number. <coughs> and so what we find uh, that this is equal to is that uh, is 54784, at least that's what it says on the calculator. Correct significant digits is uh, 54.8 uh, kilometers. That's our maximum altitude, 54.8. And so at this point here, we have a velocity of zero. We are 54.8 kilometers up. And now we are beginning our phase three, our free fall back to Earth. And all we need to know now is how long does that take? Because the total time in the air is the free fall time plus this 91.7 plus the 30 seconds it took for us to burn up that fuel. And the sum of those three times, really the time, that's what we're looking for. And so we take our distance equation there, x equals x is zero, plus uh, v is zero times time, plus uh, a over two t squared. Uh, a, once again, is equal to 9.81. <coughs> and our x is zero is, uh, is our uh, 54.8. I'm going to write it in full precision here. 5, 4, 7, 8, 4, minus, uh, 9.81 over 2 t squared. Our resulting altitude at the end of this is going to be zero. So uh, our uh, final condition here, our final offset in altitude is going to be zero. So what we do is we solve this for t. So we have 9.81 over 2 t squared equals uh, 54784. <coughs> Multiply both sides by 2 and then divide by 8, 1. We get t squared equals uh, 11169. 
Square root of uh, both sides here, you get t is equal to 105.7 seconds. And so, what's our time in flight? It's the sum of this phase 3 plus this, the time for phase 2, 91.7 plus uh, 30. <coughs> we have 0 0.4, the 6, 7, 7.4. 12, 227.4 seconds, and uh, is our 